Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today is episode 2 of our Flustered MCX custom series. And boy, I've just been really excited to continue with this. The first episode was amazing. We showed off some awesome customs. I think my favorite was probably this Jackal, like just really dope. I love that electric blue on the frill, frills, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the Samus, I think that is also really dope. These customs are from Flustered MCX on Instagram and a lot of the 3D printed elements are from a guy called LS3D Printing. And I'll include all of their details in the description down below. This new articulation CQB is also something that I'm sure got people really excited and today we got a Halo Reach episode We're going back to the beginning to Halo Reach and this is something really really interesting This right here is the concept art for the original noble team from Halo Reach Just by looking at that see the normal characters that you're very familiar with and also some ones that you're not I mean, there's a lot of characters here, right? There are seven and there's only six members of noble teams So the question is who's the odd one out? Right and today flustered MCX has sent me all seven of these customs to check out He made custom Spartans based on each of the individual concept art pictures from Halo Reach And that is a really interesting project something that I'm sure you can see a little bit of here I think we have to start with Carter, right? Look at that I love that it has the original kind of helmet, but there are so many attachments here There's actually so much to look at this kukri knife on the side. I don't know if this is Technically Kukri, maybe it's just a normal combat knife, but a knife on the shoulder. Like, I know that a lot of people are fans of just knives being everywhere all over their Spartans, you know. We're gonna be showing off all seven members of Noble Team, and I really do appreciate a like on this video if you enjoy this kind of content. This is a seven part video series where I'm gonna be showing off everything in these boxes. And I wanted to do it seven parts because I wanted to, you know, separate and focus on particular elements, like divvy them up into different games or different concepts. This, I thought, deserved its own episode, and uh, yeah. When you see all of these figures, you'll definitely agree with me that it does. This is Noble One, the Noble Commander, Carter. Comes with, oh man, look at this. Now this has to be one of the LS3D printing pieces. This is really spectacular. A custom DMR that seems to be 100% 3D printed. There's no way you could ever get that kind of effect without a 3D printer. Perfect for Carter. And perfect to show off like, oh man, show off LS3D printing's work. I love those yellow stripes and highlights along it. I love that there are pieces just jutting out from all directions, including this little flashlight on the side. What a wonderful custom. And it goes perfectly with Carter. Carter. This is like, this is honestly so dope. But Noble 1 would never go into battle without Noble 2, and that's Spartan Cat. Here she is. There isn't that much changed between this Spartan cat and the original sort of concept art. The robotic arm looks really nice here. I love that extra bit of blue detailing on the end. I think cat out of all of them, maybe cat and Emil look quite similar to the original concept art. Well, to their original concept art versus the actual in-game appearance, like this is pretty similar. The colors are a little bit more uh, sort of low key, like more earthy. This is a sort of darker blue. You can see like not only is the dry brushing and like good weathering all over, like those silver scratches leading all the way around the armor. Getting the blue, that light blue inside the uh, piece there is so difficult. That red mark as well, like there's some expertly crafted detail in here, like expert painting. Look at these little lights on the front. Flustered MCX clearly has like the steadiest of hands. Oh wow, even that UNSC, that's hand painted on man. Like how do you do that? Your paintbrush must be just like a hairbrush, like a hair length or uh, what would you say? Like a single hair. <laughs> it must be like a single static hair. That is Spartan Cat. She doesn't come with any magnums, but I mean, that is just, yeah, she just has dual wield magnums, right? They both have pretty similar colored armors and they work really well as a pair. But now we got to move on to Noble 3. That would be Jun. Now Jun is the one that looks really insane. <laughs> Look at this. Like what is going on here? That's outrageous. When you check out the concept art for June, like, he looks insane. <laughs> so I'm really happy that Flustered was able to bring that to life. This etching on this ghillie suit is so nice. He's got some kind of little flashlight on the top of his helmet. It looks so like, um, sort of 
patched together by June himself. Like, really, really nice. I love those red detailings and the blue. I, oh man, they are so good. They are so good. It's hard to, uh, hard to really articulate. Also, the camera makes them look good, but in person, they look so exceptional. Look at all the detailing on that shoulder piece. I could not do that. Like, I, I'm pretty good. I've got a pretty steady hand with painting. Like, I could not do something like this. That, that, that takes like hundreds of hours of practice, right? I also love the very thin slit of a visor there that's left exposed. This is insane. This is like, this, this one is insane. These two, very well done. Done. You can see that like they're pop and swaps a lot of the time and also like extra bits glued on basic colors But this one with the ghillie suit and wait till you see the sniper rifle man. Ugh. So it comes with a suppressed SMG. That's just a basic MCX one. I, I keep on saying like, this is insane or this is crazy. Cause, cause it like literally is this elastic strap as well. So you can just like holster it round the character, just like holster it round his neck. There's a lot of painting involved in that. Honestly, like, I don't even know how many hours it would take to make this tune. All three of these really, Noble one, two, and three. It's time to bust out Noble four though. And this one is mostly just the same a meal, but now I'm looking at it for longer, this knife attachment is pretty outrageous. So this is a definitely a kukri knife. This is more like just like a little combat knife, like an emergency knife, I guess. The silver etched onto a jet black visor is really sick. Like I've never seen a black visor on these kind of figures. So that's a great touch, especially when it's like white paint. So it just works perfectly on top of a black visor. Everything else, very dull, very monotone, dark, dingy colors. He comes with, and I think this is just for fun, a random samurai sword. <laughs> Cause like, Hey, Emil is the knife expert. Why not give him a badass samurai sword, right? It's perfect for him. Noble one, two, three, and four. That brings us on to Noble five. That is George. And I bet you're excited to see your old boy, George. I think George is like a community favorite in general. Look, whoa, whoa, look at this. That's um, something else. Whoa, I need to compare this to an actual chain gun because a lot has been cut off and repurposed. Like this is hanging down. This is clearly like, molded round. George, my boy George, they, they did you well. They did you well, George. You look exceptional. That backpack, everything is like uh, way more like realistic, right? Like MCX is a lot of like snazzy, like bright colors, but these are grounded. These are down to earth. These are realistic. So I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, this helmet, really nice. Uh, I'm not gonna try and twist anything too much, but the oranges, like everything's just a duller tone and it all works really nicely. Little blue and red highlights. I know I clearly like Flustered MCX loves putting like little blue and red uh, like lighting and that is five members of Noble Team. That just leaves Noble Six and Noble Six looks seriously badass. Let's see what weapons he's got. Okay, um, a DMR. Oh, okay. This is clearly showing off LS 3D printing's work. This is the original DMR and this is a custom DMR. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> I've seen this so many times that I've got to go for this one, especially those molds here. It actually makes you think, you know, like if Mega's going to make a mold, like why not add those extra attachments? They're really fun. Noble Six comes with, whoa, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness, this gun, this gun's insane. I gotta check the original concept art for Noble Six now. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I can't even tell you. That gun is just, that, it looks like something out of Titanfall. That's wild. Noble Six, I know, is a lot of people's favorite Spartans, like all time favorite Spartans. I know why, like he he's so insane. Noble Six, uh, he, he's been given real justice here. I don't know if this is Noble Six or Spartan Thom. Not sure, but. It really works. It really works. This dark blue with like, it, see anytime you do like really dark colors, it makes like little bright elements just flash out, like really stand out, like lime greens, electric blues, like whites, uh, anything like that, even red. So he's done a phenomenal job with bringing Noble Six to life. I may be moving past things and not recognizing what is 3D printed. I'm gonna have to open a bigger discussion up with Flustered MCX on that one, but I really like this little tech pad on his shoulder that looks molded with some kind of putty. The same with this little ammo patch on his leg. Really nice, really nice. That is our core base Noble Team, but there are still two more Spartans because in the original concept art for Noble Team, there was more than just the six we're used to today. So that is Noble 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Spartan Carter, Spartan Cat, June, our boy George. It doesn't get more badass than a meal with a samurai sword. And... <laughs> Spartan Noble Six, or maybe Spartan Thom. But there are two more Spartans featured in that concept art that we got to show off today. Here they are. 
look at these guys. Whoa. And I noticed as well in, I think it was a meals box or a meals little section, there was a grenade launcher. And like, that is wild. So we're gonna give the grenade launcher to one of these Spartans. There was also a jetpack included in here. Yes, look at these. Look at these. I love that heavy attachment, like it's George, but it's like moved to the front. That like really nicely protects the neck there. Again, I wanna just reiterate, dull colors that work perfectly. This is probably the brightest one of all of these seven figures, but they're still dark enough to like sort of fit all together. Nice weathering, nice dry brushing throughout. I love that. Is that meant to be like the package? Is that meant to be like an AI uh, piece? If so, badass. I would love that to be like a little AI container. Man, let me know in the comments down below, which is your favorite of these figures? Because it's, re it's gonna be really difficult for me to choose a favorite per se. We got so many badass Spartans, all wielding insane weapons, a lot with custom either molding or 3D printing from LS3D printing, and really dope colors that all work together. The total hours on this painting must have just been immeasurable. So thank you very much, Flustered MCX, for letting me showcase these. I'll send them right back to you now. Thank you as well for LS3D printing. If you guys could do anything for me today, please do check out both of those. They're in the pinned description and comment of this video. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Stay tuned for future episodes of Flustered MCX Customs. And the customs themselves, or let's say no, let's say a meal, is signing off.